Congratulations and welcome home. Just some of the well wishes that people are leaving in this message book after the return of a Japanese space capsule. This is the showroom of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. And ever since the space capsule has returned, it has captivated people here in Japan. The Hayabusa Explorer lit up the night skies over Australia, a spectacular sight as it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and landed in a remote military zone. This ends a seven-year, six-billion-kilometer journey. The satellite image captures the capsule after it landed. You can see the white parachute coming off the side of the capsule. It is the very first time a spacecraft has successfully landed on an asteroid and returned to Earth, delighting space fans around the world. I think that uh, for all of us who witnessed the entry of the Hayabusa spacecraft tonight into our atmosphere, I think we can honestly say that the Hayabusa spacecraft is the little spacecraft that could. It was clear, there was no misunderstanding about it, that was it. And, and to be part of it here and be able to watch it was just great. In Japan, space enthusiasts here applauded as the vessel returned. It is something that scientists were not so sure would ever happen. The Hayabusa returned almost three years late, and while in space, suffered a number of glitches from broken parts to failure of its batteries. Hometown fans welcomed it back. I'm impressed that it went all the way into space and came back, says this little space fan. Well, now the hard part begins. Scientists are hoping the capsule actually contains asteroid dust. They're hoping when it landed on the asteroid, sand from the impact was forced into the collection chamber. Now, that sand, if it is indeed inside, may help explain how and when the asteroid was formed and how long our solar system has been around. Scientists will bring the capsule from Australia back here to Japan and then open it, hoping that it will help unlock the evolution of our universe. Kyung Law, CNN, Tokyo.